Hello Z-Bird, welcome back to Plant vs. Zombies 2. Today, we are checking out the brand new plant that was added to the game for the upcoming Battles Arena season. It is going to be the Tumbleweed and its early access bundle. It has 250 seed packets to unlock the Tumbleweed and 100 seed packets for premium and world plants. There should also be some epic quests for some levels to play with the Tumbleweed, so we'll be checking all of that out. Should be a lot of fun, so let's get started. All right, so here we go. As you can see, we'll get our 250 for the, the tumble, tumbleweed. We'll get some melon pulp, walnut, tangle kelp, iceberg lettuce, laser bean, jack-o'-lantern, wasabi whip, chomper, a key, squash, pretty good stuff. You know, just glad to get all that out of the way. And like I said, there should be um, some quests, but before we check those out, I wanna go to the almanac and unlock the tumbleweed. So that'll be all the way at the end. But yeah, this should be the new showcase plant for the upcoming season. It is the tumbleweed. Tumbleweeds roar off down the lane, bouncing off zombies and knocking them back with a chance to stun or even flip them off the lawn. So it almost works like it, um, one of the bowling bulbs, but better. The special is set aflame by Torchwood. This zesty little guy can't wait to get at it. Places to do, things to go. It works because he planned thoroughly ahead of time. So he has a sun cost of 50, which is pretty low, a recharge of 5.5, a damage of 15, special is multi-shot, and the special is also knockback. Um, and he works in the the P mint, appeasement um, uh, range, which is really weird, but all right, we'll unlock him. Just like that. Of course, we only have him at level one. But yeah, this is a lot of fun. I can't wait to go at it with him in some of the epic quests. Just because he seems to be a very different plant. Like I said, sort of uh, similar to uh, the bowling bulb or even the one up bowling levels back in PvZ1. But as you can see, epic quest tumbleweed. Play with tumbleweed and win 50 tumbleweed, tumbleweed seed packets. So that'll definitely get it to level two at the least. So glad to see that for sure. So we'll, we'll figure that out first. Um, and there's some choppers to protect. Survive without planting on these mold colonies and survive um, protecting uh, the endangered plants. Okay. So yeah, let's see how this goes. Maybe I'll wait for a couple of them to build up before we get too worried about it. Um, and also the chompers will be able to help. They're not just gonna sit there, you know? So uh, yeah, if it's going to what I think is like bounce off. Yeah, and it knocks them back too. What's weird is that they look different here than they do in the image. I, I wonder if that's a level up thing, if maybe they bounce off a certain amount of zombies, something will happen. I'm not really sure. Yeah, of course, this is definitely interesting. Not the plant I was expecting, but still pretty cool to see. Just go ahead and try that again. And they're both on the same lane, which actually is not that helpful. But uh, we'll do what we can about it. There we go, we finally knocked you off though. That's cool. And um, I'll do the same, nope, the you. There we go, that was, weirdly picky <laughs> but it does take quite a few of them even to get rid of just one imp so like that's something to keep in mind didn't quite hit you with that oh nice but we got a pretty lucky knockback with that one with flipping them off the uh the, the area like that so that's pretty cool there we go so they don't have a plant food effect then i suppose oh that was good okay let's go this way so yeah, this really is like walnut bowling. Pretty cool. That's my, one of my favorite mini games in PvZ1, so I like to see it. Oh, and that imp up there got stunned. So like it shows you that, you know, things can go pretty well. Um, and if things get too bad here, that's also why we have the chomper. Um, this is gonna happen right there. Wow, that was really good and also gave me a coin. Okay, can I freeze you? I can, that might be good. And if I have any plant food, I guess it could be used on the chomper. Oh wow, I, I didn't even know what the chomper plant fit effect was like, so that's actually really nice. Uh, oh, did I put two down at once there? Whoops, oh, okay. Or maybe there's just two of them now. That was that was weird. Okay, gotta keep that in mind. Anyways, if we could just get one more, that'd be great. Uh, here we go. Ah, uh, okay, whatever. We gotta keep going though. We don't want this guy getting knocked out. So as soon as we can, just knock him back. This is definitely not the easiest thing though. There we go. But yeah, it's even when they're bouncing off a ton of them, they don't quite look like what they do in the in the, the seed packet picture. I don't know what what's up with that. It's a little weird. Very interesting plant though. The fact that we'll basically just have one up bowling whenever we want. <laughs> okay, that wasn't too bad. The, the main thing though is that it just doesn't do very much damage. Okay, um, I might just go ahead and use plant food here. It's getting a little scary. 
So you really have to rely on having a lot of them. I would imagine imitating this plant, depending on the recharge. It's five seconds, so if you imitated it, that'd probably be the best bet. But yeah, certainly interesting. Okay, I didn't mean to put that there. It's not gonna be very useful at that spot. Oh no. Knock him back. I need another one pronto. We're actually in trouble here. Um, okay, lawnmower, 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 lawnmower. Wow. Okay, that could have gone bad. What a weird first level. That one took a while too, because it's just you slowly sort of waiting for them to trickle through. Okay, well that could have gone really bad right at the end, but luckily we were just able to save the uh, the chomper there. So next we have level number two. Let's see if this one goes any better. I sure hope so, but you never know. So we just got to try it. Um, oh, now we're on. Interesting, there's some flying zombies too. What do we do about them? Okay, we get Tawnut, who's actually boosted. So, might as well work on that as much as I can. And Coconut Can. <laughs> Maybe there just won't be Tumbleweed in this level. That would be odd, but it's possible. Okay, so I'll try something like that. There we go, very nice. I guess I'll get rid of you. I think that's what the game was waiting on. Um, so yeah, this is weird so far because there's no tumbleweeds to be seen. Okay, here we go, which I guess I'll just try to save these guys. I mean, I guess I can knock them into the water. Ah, that's what they're trying to show me here. So yeah, I would love to hear what are your thoughts on the tumbleweed plant? Have you been able to try it yet? Um, and if so, you know, do you think it's good, bad, somewhere in between? Do you think it's worth it so far? I like how it flies over <laughs> though. There we go. Nice. Yeah, it really does hit the, those zombies, no problem. There we go, wow. Um, so we can also do some cannon stuff, but I'm trying to save some of that. Maybe I shouldn't have that. Okay, there's some plant food. Might want to use that there, because once again, you can't really use it on the tumbleweeds. There we go. That wasn't too bad either. But yeah, definitely, I think it's a cool plant. I think I need to experiment with it a whole lot more and see how it like sort of synergizes with the appeasement to really decide whether I super duper like it or not. But um, it's not bad. It's definitely not bad. There we go. Uh, let's launch you. But this one, this level so far is really easy. We didn't really even need the, uh, what's it called, too much. Yeah, there we go. We didn't really even need the tumbleweeds too much. But yeah, certainly the season is gonna be very interesting with this. I can't wait to see what the first tournament is like. Um, hopefully it goes well, but for right now, we're gonna go back into the events, do level number three, and yeah, try it out. Certainly it's interesting how much longer these levels have been taking than your average level, at least the first one. This one wasn't too bad. But now we're in Wild West. I definitely don't think we should put it on the minecart. That wouldn't be too useful. But we do get an apple mortar. I might wanna see what else they give us before I put that down. Are they okay? Okay, they give us another one. There we go. Um, I'll hold on to the three Peter as well, just until I know for a fact. But it is cool that it sort of just um, bounces off zombies. It doesn't seem like, you know, it depends on the strength of the zombie. It just depends on just the random chance of it. So the idea of being able to fling away, like maybe even a gargantua, who knows? That sounds really powerful. So I think I'm supposed to put the torchwood on that. That would be so cool. If we could fling away a gargantua, I'd be super duper happy. Um, I'll we'll have to see how that ends up happening though, because things right now are not looking the best. Um, there we go. I might plant food this. That might be good. Okay, we stunned the Gargantua there. And we're also gonna get this here. Looking good, looking good. Knock him way back. Really nice to see. Another Gargantua is moving in over this way too. Oh wow, we're clearing this out like nothing. Wait, does that, wait a minute. Oh, let me get a better look at this. Whoa, it turns the tumbleweed into a flaming ball of fire. That's so cool. All right, didn't see that before. Um, wow, awesome. So, note to self, the Torchwoods are plenty fine synergy with, with the tumbleweed. I guess that's probably why it's a pea plant. Because it obviously isn't naturally, like the, the, the tumbleweed that it's based off of isn't a pea as far as I understand. Anyways, let's do level number four. That's a very interesting synergy. So using that and appeasement, like whole line of Torchwoods, wow, that would be really cool. All right, well we now have some strategies in mind for when that tournament starts. Anyways, what's going on with this one? Got a bunch of gravestones, I saw some surfing zombies, and speaking of which, here's the appeasement. Um, so we have the tumbleweed, the imitated tumbleweed, like I suggested. Um, 
the guacamole or whatever it's called. I forget what that one is. Um, got a gold bloom and an appeasement. Okay, so maybe I should get this out right now and like see how that works. Whoa, whoa, I've not seen it do that before. I don't think. Wow, so now like this is what it looks like when it's level 10. So yeah, that is a level up thing. But definitely the appeasement does make a big difference and it's good to keep in mind. So this is a level 10 appeasement. That's why it's um doing that. That's why I was firing up this piece and stuff. Shows you it's worth the level up the uh, mints, but very difficult to. Okay. Let's do something like that. It's the lava guava, that's what it is. <laughs> I remember now. So this is tough so far, but there goes the lava guava going off. Uh, okay, not too bad. Go for it again. And I'm thinking that maybe we'll do something like that there. Nice. And now I'm out of sun, so that does get a little bit scary, but then we get the gold bloom again. I'm going to wait for the appeasement, put it about there, um, because that'll launch some peas, and they'll launch around and spread, which is really cool. And then I can start just going crazy with some of these and just hope it works out well. There we go. So far, so good. Um, I'll put that there. I need to get rid of you. Ah, oh, there goes our appeasement. But you know what, we're just gonna get another one out. I'm just gonna do that. I think that's gonna be our best bet. Yeah, I'll just keep recycling that kind of thing. Get some extra sun as well while we can. Get another lava guava. Yeah, that's really the best bet. Okay, so far so good. I think we've basically won this with this. It's a lot of fun for sure. Yeah, sometimes when you put the tumbleweed down, sometimes two of them get placed. I don't know what's with that. I'm certainly not complaining, but I don't know if it's just a random chance or something like that. Anyways, there is that done. We got one more level left to do in this one. But yeah, this has been a lot of fun for sure. It's a lot different than I was expecting, uh, but it's cool. It's really cool. Maybe we'll try it in some story mode levels just to sort of get some more experience with it. Uh, but this time we got the uh, premium plant quest here. Um, it's the last one. Um, I don't know what I want to do with it, but we start with Tumbleweed, Repeater, Torchwood, and Shinevine. Hmm. And it looks like for the layout, we already have some soybean pods and cauliflower. Okay. I probably want something that'll heat more things up because I don't know if this has the proximity heating. So maybe just like a fire pea shooter to balance things out. Or just a hot potato. Yeah, let's do a hot potato. We can level that up. <laughs> don't know if that's worth it, but we can get it to level three, um, improving the recharge toughness and damage. It does damage? It's a hot potato. Why is it damage? Weird. Um... We'll do Grape Shot and Primal Potato Mine. Uh, and I guess Appeasement, why not? You know, let's just go for that. Appeasement is probably gonna be our mint for this uh, season then, which is great, but it's still a shame that it's not, you know, uh, what is it called? So let's try that. Can I put this on top of a lane that's already occupied? I guess so. So that might be the big difference maker. But as you can see, this is not melting away the Zoe. No, wait, is it? Maybe it is. It was just taking its time at first. Wow, it's 25 when it's at level 10. That's really good. Um, but it definitely wants me to put this stuff here. So it's gonna be making its own zombies. Well, it's just, wow. Wow, so putting down one makes three? That's crazy. That's really crazy. Okay, good to keep in mind. Um, all right, there's a lot gonna be going on here, but I'm just gonna keep doing what I can. There we go. I can put down the appeasement, but I guess that really won't do too much if it's already level 10. There's a lot going on on the screen now, so it definitely is tough to keep up with, but this is so cool. So I guess I could just get some repeaters on these lanes, and that should work out just fine. And the, res like, the restoring for a level 10 is like nothing. It's like a couple of seconds. That's crazy. Okay, no, the soybean pod, you monster. There we go, come on, come on. Get rid of it, I need to put them on the left. Remember, I'm trying to uh, get them torched up. Don't wanna forget about that. Um, so I just gotta keep putting these guys down. Right now, I'm not doing the best job with that. Wow, for that, I just went right through. 
Yeah, I don't know if I'm doing a bad job at lining this up, or is it just so when they're torched up like that, they just go right through. No, see, that's how it bounce. Okay. Okay, so I'll launch a couple of those too. It's a shame that we lost some soybean pods. I can't really replace them, but it's fine. Awesome, so that's it. That was an interesting round. Obviously the easiest one, but it shows you the power of a level 10 tumbleweed is really good. So definitely a cool plant. And we get uh, it to level two, so we're one step closer. We have a long, long way to go before we could ever get to the level two. I don't have any plant anywhere near that. I have like level six and seven sometimes, but not really even too many of those. Okay, so we still have plenty of time left in today's episode, so I might actually go and do some story mode levels with the, the tumbleweed and see how that works. Okay, so I figured we'll try it a modern day level. This one seemed interesting, so we'll give it a go. Um, the first thing I need to do then is set up maybe a sunflower. I don't wanna go too complicated with that, but get all the way down this way, get ourselves this, let's upgrade it. So it's now level two, that's gonna improve the recharge damage and multi-shot. So get the special multi-shot and the special knockback. It ought to get improved there. Pretty nice to see that. I think the damage increase is the best thing there. Um, on top of that, maybe we could really stack up the sun by putting the sunflowers on top of the shine vine. Then I want the appeasement. And then I think we will go with uh, Torchwood. Torchwood's another big one. Um, Torchwood and then maybe Repeater, because that seemed like a good combo, because we can put this on top of other plants, you know? So that's where it gets really important to keep in mind. Um, either that or I could do instead the repeat, uh, the, the three Peter, since that's level six, even more effective, right? So maybe we'll do that. We'll have some backup plants with the squash and the grape shots just in case things don't go so well. Um, but let's try this out, see how it goes, and hope for the best. And we're trying to protect these primal walnuts, which should be fine. We'll have to wait and see, <laughs> I suppose, yeah. Uh, but yeah, it, it'll be fun just to try this out, especially with the Torchwood and stuff. I think that'll be the best thing. Um, but it really depends on how long this level is. Uh, but for right now, there's this, just this guy coming in. I might put the Squash out for right now so I can keep building everything else up. Might just be the best for the current time. Okay. I don't mind throwing one out for this guy. Okay, it actually knocked him away. Good. That's what we're hoping for overall. There we go. Wow, getting actually pretty lucky with that. Um, no, not happening. Okay, so this might be a bit difficult at first. I forgot that the squash squashes twice in this game. And this should still hit the, yeah, it still hits the balloon zombies, which is crazy cool. I don't know why it does. You'd think that it wouldn't, but it does. Nice. Okay, so we're almost there with setting everything up. I just need to do a little bit of that, maybe. Um, yeah, this is a lot to multitask at once, but let's try that, maybe. Okay, that worked out, sort of, kind of. Okay, wait, okay, did work. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm just trying to try to manage everything right now. It's not easy. <laughs> if I could just get a little bit more time, I would really appreciate it. Okay, maybe this wasn't the best one for everything, but if we get the appeasement out, that might actually make a difference. So I guess the appeasement does fire a couple of peas, just normally. I never, never actually realized that. Um, I think mostly because there's a lot of action happening on the screen most of the time that I am trying to figure something else like that out. So this one, the only problem is that it wasn't very long of a round, so never really got the chance to, there we go. Um, never really got the chance to set up the torchwoods or anything, but still, you can see, especially with the ones that like it knocks them all the way away, that's such a good thing. I haven't seen that happen for some of the more strong zombies, like the gargantuars or the sarcophagus zombies or something like that, but I'm sure it can happen. Um, that'd be cool to see though. I'd be really happy just to see a Gargantua get flung away. Anyways, there's that level done. Nothing too complicated with that one. We got through it. So, I think I might go with something else. Maybe something a little bit easier so I can set things up a bit. Um, so yeah, let's go and try that. But for right now, we get experience for the Dusk Lobber and for the Nightshade. Cool. Okay, so we're doing a fairly later on Ancient Egypt level. We'll see if this one goes any better. Uh, maybe I should have done something so that I could actually get more sun, but I think it'll be fine. I hope this one has multiple uh, big flags to it. It'll probably have three, seeing how it's day 23. That's pretty far along. I think this is like the second to last level before Zomboss in Ancient Egypt. But yeah, okay, we're good. So really, right now, I'm just gonna set up some sun stuff. Uh, I'll have a primal potato mine for you. Actually, that'd be perfect, because that might get rid of a couple of gravestones, which would be also just overall productive. So I will gladly try to take that opportunity. And in the meantime, I'm just gonna get more sun from both the sunflowers and the shine vines. And that should build up a good amount overall. But yeah, that got rid of some of the gravestones, which is useful. Okay, just 
a few more. There we go. And while all that's happening, we also want to start getting some torchwoods out. We don't need them too far out. Seeing how we can have that space for the... There we go. <laughs> we can have that space for the three Peters and then still put the tumbleweed on top of it. I feel like that's the tumbleweed's biggest strength is that you can actually just put it on top of other plants. Okay, that was lucky. Um, Very good. And maybe about now is when I can see if I can't afford a three Peter, just like that. Okay, just gotta work on getting rid of some stuff there. It's all difficult, but I feel like we're making it work with what we have here. If I could get one more three Peter out, come on, just a little bit more sun, there we go, and then put out the appeasement, and this should go out. I just hope that they don't torch my torchwood. That's not what I wanted. Ah, oh, they did torch my torchwood. How is that even possible? Don't let that happen again. Thank you, okay. Oh my gosh, so we just wanna get a torchwood in every lane now. That's the goal before we really expand too much more. Um, Cause you know, the first big flag is happening right now. There we go, so we're good. That should be mostly fine. Now if we can save sun for, um, for all of our uh, tumbleweeds, we should be fine. So I can like put this here. Of course there's guys throwing out gravestones, but I feel like the three Peters do a pretty good job of clearing those out, but if not, we can just do that. So let's slow things down. But yeah, it really is just cool how this plant is basically a um, walnut bowling mini game wherever you go. <laughs> just wherever you want it, you got it. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, see, it knocked the sarcophagus zombie away on its first hit. That is really, really good. And it's doing extra damage with it being all fired up. So it's just, it's a really good plant. And I can't wait to see how much better we can make it as it levels up. And hopefully throughout this season, we can do exactly just that. Um, I'll put as much time to it as I possibly can as per usual. Um, let's boost all these guys, because why wouldn't I? There we go. Now, I want to sort of go all in with, uh, this right here and see if I can't um, get rid of him, send him flying. So that knocked him back, but didn't send him flying. Okay, well eventually he got taken up by everything else. And I haven't imitated one of these guys yet. I don't know if it's exactly necessary, like this setup works just fine. Um, but there we go, we even get a pinata of course for completing this level. So I think I'll go for one more and then we'll do the pinata party for today's episode. Uh, we'll get 100 coins, uh, experience for the iceberg lettuce and for the bloomerang. Not bad. Okay, so we're on the Lost City this time. I thought this would be fun. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna work with this a little bit. We'll set up some sunflowers. We'll have these tiles as well, which might be helpful. I might set up in different ways because of that. Maybe I could do just something like that. Um, yeah, that might be good. It gets us some extra sun right off the bat. I can get a primal uh, potato mine right there just to get that guy out of the way. See, so yeah, overall that should be fine because the tile should be continually producing sun as well, as well as the shine vine and the sunflower. So that should stack up. Pretty good. Um, so as soon as you land now, it's gonna send you back. Um, maybe I could just do that really quickly and then boom, nice. Okay, uh, three Peter here and then I'll send them back even more. And we don't even have to worry about the umbrella lady, but we might have to worry about the shovel zombie. I don't know how the tumbleweed will work with the shovel zombie. That's a pretty good question that I guess we'll find the answer to here soon enough. Um, oh, the gargantuar's coming in right away. I might just go ahead and do a little bit of that just to help us work through this. I really have to sneeze. I hope that doesn't happen. Oh, <laughs> the imp flying away is actually pretty funny. He's just like, wee. All right, there we go. Get that there. Let's um, send one of these out now. It might be a good time. It might not be, who knows. All right, there we go. Awesome. So we're handling this. While it is three flags, it's like three fla flags very quickly. So just trying to do what I can with all that. Still didn't imitate it. I don't think it's necessary at this rate. Um, awesome. There's a lot going on here, but I think we can handle it. Maybe, let me protect this group. Okie doke. I might use my plant food on that, the appeasement, so that I can get even stronger stuff out. And that works quite well. Got it. Oh boy. See, here's a shovel zombie. What happens, he got stunned by the tumbleweed and he gets knocked back by it. So I can only hope he's getting damaged by it. If he's not though, it still could have a chance of knocking him away. And that's good. Come on, let's get another one before you dig that up. Okay, well, knocked him back. Okay, now's maybe a good time just to do that. <laughs> so maybe not the strongest against a shovel zombie, but overall, it's fine. It's totally fine. All right, so that's gonna get us our third um, story mode pinata, this time for Lost City. 
Hopefully we get some good stuff out of this one. It's going to be 100 coins for the, um, and then also experience for the Endurian install, yeah? Sort of skipped a couple of words there. Okay, so yeah, with that done, we are going to go do a pinata party for today, uh, since I haven't done one today, um, and see how that goes. So we will just try this. I guess I didn't get to the end of the last one. That's unfortunate, but hey, it's fine. We'll do, we'll do it again someday. Okay, so, oh, this one has a cake zombie because, you know, it's it's still um, birthday's event. Oh, there's a shrinking violet too. That's cool. Haven't really used that plant too much. I think it was like one level in modern day. But beyond that, I have like barely even touched it. So that'll be interesting. I'm hoping that eventually it'll be a showcase plant, seeing how it's premium, but I don't know. Seeing how they're doing jack-o'-lantern again, even though they did it back on Lawn of Doom, you'd think they would do something more relevant for this plant of the week, so. Maybe there's some plants that are just guaranteed to never be plants of the week, which would be silly. I'm not really sure how that works, because I've only been playing the game for about a year. Yeah, it's actually, it's been a year as of the birthdays event, because that's when I started playing back last year. I started playing on PVC's 10th birthday, so. Yeah, it's pretty cool that we've gone for full circle in that way, but it's also weird that I haven't had the chance to check out some plants following the, the plan of the week idea. Um, let's go and use some plant food here, because we can get rid of a lot of these guys, and also start shrinking some of them, maybe. I don't exactly know what the best route for this might be. I don't even know where we would squeeze in the bok choy, the bunk choy, uh, for this. But we can definitely get some bloomerang out. Uh, keep everything else going. Yep. Just like that. Have another shrinking violet. So I think that the cake zombie is supposed to be equivalent to a uh, a sarcophagus zombie out of all things, which is interesting. There's some more plant food. Our last primal sunflower. I can't believe our bloomerang is level six. I feel like that's really high for a bloomerang. I don't feel like I've gotten that much experience for him, but I guess we have. Anyways, these are about to get taken out, so I might as well restore them again. Um, there we go. Let's get an Endurian there. Almost have another Shrinking Violet. Oh boy, there we go, shrink, shrink. Yeah, okay, not bad. And of course, they are much easier to handle once they're shrunk. I think this is the last guy, but might as well do that. Okay, there we go, so that pinata party really wasn't that bad, and we are going to get some prizes. Three for the, three Peter, three for the Jack Lantern, and I think a thousand coins, something like that. Double coin rewards with every win though, so yeah, pretty cool. I think we're gonna wrap it up with that though. Let me know your thoughts on the Tumbleweed and stay tuned because we're gonna be doing the Tumbleweeds Battles Arena season, starting with the tournament where it's gonna be, of course, Tumbleweed, and then whatever else might be uh, showcased along the way. We'll be trying to do all of it, but for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies 2. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.